Hello, hello. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up this hanger right here. I already did open up a hanger just before this in the video. I bumped something and uh, it went to live, go live or whatever. But anyway, so I'm not going to upload that because uh, I'm just going to go on a little uh, bitch fest, I guess if you want to say, when I get done opening this. All right, so stick around. And it's about this product. Um, I opened a hanger and a blaster of this stuff previously. Uh, full wise, I've gotten equal to this stuff, like, so it hasn't been like terrible. Full wise, is why I'm gonna go on a bitch fest, but it's the quality of this stuff to me is sub par. And honestly, I would hold off if I were you and about buying any of this off the secondary market. Don't, I wouldn't do it. It, the quality of this stuff is not good. Everything, so much stuff is off centered, dinged up. I mean, and the boxes are the boxes. My boxes were fine. You know, my boxes they're not sma they're not smashed up or nothing. I mean, none of them were. The quality of this product is very poor. Chubb, Candy Golden, Juju, Joe Reed. That's like the third Joe Reed. I've gotten one out of everything. And this. I had two blasts, I had a blaster and I did these two hangers, and I pulled a Joe Reed out of every one of them. And a Cam Akers. So and the Jared Golf. So I got the exact same hanger from a different store. There we go. A Joe Burrow club level rookie card. Um, it's not about the cards and the right players not being in there. It's about the quality of the card. Now look at this one even. It's really off-centered, man. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's really, it's really, and they're really bad. There are a lot of them are like this. It's like, you find a good one, you say, well, that means the good ones will go for more money. So it'd be hard to get a 10. Yeah, it's going to be harder for you to get a 10. If you're cracking it open, you're better off just going ahead and finding the uh, ones on the, the singles on the secondary market for cheap because they're not going for that much. And there's a club level Russell Wilson. And here's our blue die cuts. I'm not a fan of these either. Don't really care for them. Uh, Malcolm Davidson rookie. Anthony McFarland Jr. rookie die cut. A Jacob Eason rookie, and that's the um, field level. That's a nice card, man. That this one really is, and there's no damage to it because I pulled another Jacob Eason out of the last hanger, and it was a club level rookie. And right in the middle of the thing was a big dent, you know. So. I just think quality control on these things is, from what I've seen, I opened two fat packs, a blaster, and this is my second hanger. So that's, that's a decent, it's enough for me to make a fair assessment when I've had this much damage coming out of these things. Just poor, very poor quality in my opinion. And I'll be damned if I would pay more than 15, 20 bucks for this stuff. No way. No way. I buy the singles that I can see are not damaged. CD Lamb, rookie. That's a uh, concourse regular. It's a, it says Prism. See, some of them say Prism on the back of it. Um, I don't know what that whole deal with that is. You're more experienced in this stuff than I am. Go ahead and hit me up. Let me know. And are they always damaged? Select always come out crappy like this. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, select, turbocharged. That's a nice Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Hot Stars, Drew Locke. Well, I think he's still got his job, right? Did Denver draft a quarterback? I don't think so. Ed Reed, Premier. Ross Blacklock, Premier rookie card. J.K. Dobbins, Premier rookie card. Braylon Edwards, premier rookie card, and a Malcolm Perry, 
who? Dolphins. Field. Field level. I haven't seen this guy before. I haven't seen his rookie in anything before. But let me show you this Jacob Eason real quick that I pulled. The club level. See it right there? Look right there when I turn the card. It came out of the pack like that, brother. You know, and then, then look at it too. Look how off center that thing is. Look how cockeyed that thing is. You know, this would this would have been the hit of that hanger. This was the best card out of that whole hanger. Yeah, it was. And but I paid $14.99 for it, so it's okay. Right? But if you're going to go out on a secondary market. If you're contemplating going out. You really got the itch. You really want to get some of this stuff. And you're thinking about buying a blaster or a hanger for 70, 80 bucks. Just think about it. You got to pull the card and then pray that it's not a piece of garbage like one of these. Because let me tell you what, brother. Look at that centering on that. They're, they're like that. Like so many of them are like that, that it's not even funny. Like I can sit here and just let me pull a stack up. And we'll see. Well, these die cuts probably aren't. Like, even on this one, see on this Rogers? See how little bit that is right here? And look how big that is. Even on a die cut, I mean, it's it's off. Here's another club level. Little, big. It just goes Joe Burrow. Look at the Joe Burrow I just pulled out of this pack. The centering is way off. On all these. The fat packs I pulled last week. Now the fat packs. I look past the damage on the fat packs. Because they're fat packs. Okay. And sometimes those get those get bounced around. They get joshed. A little bit harder. A little bit not as easily delicately handled. But these are in boxes. Um, unless it's a blaster that the packs are just slammed in there. There's no free space. There should be no need for a card in the center of the pack. To have a ding in it like that. And then have them all off-centered like this. I mean, the printer was just terrible. Those actually right there were probably some of the best ones. The field levels, you really can't tell. So those aren't too bad. Like this one right here, see how this is? And there, the Lavishka Chenault. You can see, uh, if, you, heck, if I pull the camera, you can see how big this is right here, then how little that the brown is right there on that. I mean... Here you go here on this one, the Joe Reed, big over here, little, they're all so far off. Cam Akers, big over here, little over here. I thought it was like, for a while there, I'm open, I'm going to think, well, maybe it's just supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be so much bigger over here than it is over there. But then they started coming out the other way. Big on this side, smaller on that side. There's the club level. How off-center that one is. Big, little, well, little, big other way that one's not too bad that one's off still it's not as bad as some of the other ones but it's still off that one's off that is terrible big little that one's bad big little again that one's not too bad but it's still you can see look at the difference the field levels all right, that one doesn't look too bad. That's a nice-ass card right there, man. That's a nice card. Wrong player. But it's a nice it's a nice card. A.J. Dillon, that's probably not that bad. But it's still off. That C.D. Lamb, eh. Got a Jonathan Taylor here. That one's probably about the closest one I got to being centered out of everything. And then this one's not too bad. This one's actually pretty good. The Gabe Davis. Um, concourse prism die cut that's a nice card as well there are some nice cards in here man um, but I don't know what the deal is but if you're thinking about it I just put this video out there for you guys because I did two boxes two unboxings of the blaster and I did the hanger by the time I was done doing the hanger I was just like man these cards are shit <laughs> you know what I mean it's like god Oh, I was really contemplating just selling the last hanger, but it's one hanger. Why am I going to just put that up and just get rid of it? Um, 
And it worked out because if I did, I would have wouldn't have got this Joe Burrow. But let me see. Hold on. No, that's okay. I wouldn't have got this Joe Burrow, but it's still off centered. It's not like oh well, it is bad. <laughs> to be honest with you, it is. But if you guys have opened any of this stuff, anybody out there. Or if you watch other videos where people are just pulling like the stuff is just the quality of this product you don't think is up to par. I mean it's not really Panini's fault. Okay, I'm not putting it on it is Panini's fault because it's our quality control, but this is only $14.99 for a hanger. So it's a cheap product technically. It's not an expensive product. It's cheap. So you're gonna expect low quality with cheap products. But people are selling it like it's a high quality product. And it's not. So don't treat it like one. Don't spend 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks on this crap. Got it? All right, guys. I hope this helps. And if you were on the fence about buying this stuff, go into Target 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning on Friday and just get it for retail if you want to crack it. All right? Don't pay too much for this stuff. All right, guys. That's it. Bye for now. And I'm off to the next.